Greetings to everyone, boys and girls of all ages. The CTO Festival, also known for Lambanog and Sweet Food Delicacies, we represent to you our hometown Tayabas. I am Arian Dimaano, I am Joel Tabera, Jaden Chabel, Kaila Abbas, and Darren Edora. In the field of one, one of the most in demand course, and as we stand here today, we, we would like, like to share some well known tourist destinations. Tayabas is a special community, a living entity in search of its own destiny, an understanding of its inner being, meaning, and history. The municipality of Tayabas was established in 1578 by the Franciscan missionaries named Fray Juan de Placencia and Fray Diego de Oropesa. Tayabas, officially the city of Tayabas, is a sixth-class component city in the province of Quezon, Philippines. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 112,658 people. It is known for Lampanog and Street Food Delicacies as well as a tourism resort. A very beautiful falls located at Barangay Silangang Palale. It's 30 minutes away from the town. To get there, you will just need a few minutes to hike and then you will see the beautiful gem of the falls. Banawi rice terraces is famous all over the world. But did you know that there are also rice terraces in Tayaba city? You probably noticed them when you travel to Luban. These terraces Tri-stairs made by the indigenous Aita were the aligned prototype model before the construction of the Banawi rice terraces, which means it's even older than one in Banawi. This was unknown before and now it is something so fearful yet so tempting. Another undiscovered magical waterfalls in Tayaba City. Dumaca River is located at Barangay Matiuna, Tayaba City. It is popular and seen under the famous Malagon Long Bridge. Alitao River is one of the top rated places listed as local business in Tayabas. Now, let's talk about the infrastructural status of Tayaba City. The Yabas Bypass Road project is now almost complete. This new piece of infrastructure located at the Yabas Lukban Road, junction with the Tekongas, the Yabas, and make travel to the surrounding areas, including the capital of Quezon Province, Lucena City. A whole lot of faster and safer. Just how much faster will travel to be the, these areas? In a report submitted to the DPWH Regional Director, Samson Hebra, claimed that the bypass road will be shortened travel time from Lucena City and Tayabas to places like Saryaya, Candelaria, and San Juan, Batangas by 20 to 30 minutes. With this road, we hope to encourage more investment for the Tayabas town, most especially in underdeveloped areas that will be tra traversed by the bypass road. The popular superstructure in Tayabas City if you're looking for a conveniently located hotel in Tayabas, look no further than Graceland State and Country Club. Graceland State and Country Club also offers many facilities to enrich your stay in Tayabas. The hotel provides 24-hour security, daily housekeeping, and a souvenir shop. 24 front desk, Wi-Fi in a public area to ensure our guests at the greatest comfort. Also, Great Salmon Gourmet is the first and only airplane restaurant in our country. Offering a fine dining service, enjoy in our exquisite restaurant with a wide selection of international and local cuisine. Inside our elegant design cockpit. Jeepneys and tricycle are common options when traveling to destinations within the downtown and the city. Tayabenses are well known for hospitable and welcoming to the visitors. Holding the numerous and colorful celebration that showcase the town's devotion to its faith, industry and tradition 
And the best thing is, everyone is invited to join in the fun. Tayaba City is famous for its distilled alcoholic drink from coconut called Lambanog. And sweet food delicacies as well as wonderful resorts, Tayabas is also known as the city of festivals in the Philippines because of numerous celebrations and colorful festivals. Tayabas, a much visited town due its wonderful festivals that continually draw large crowds every year. Mayuhan sa Tayabas a stellar attraction during a month of May, where a grand, colorful, and false kiparada. Ang Baliskog welcomes a guest to Mayuhan Festival. Kog means arc, a welcome arc. A display of Baliskog made indigenous materials like cocoa leaf, cocoa husk, bamboo poles, bully, katan, dry flowers and tistis fill the streets of the Yabas and joyously welcome visitors at the summer season. Mayuhan Festival ranks as the major festival in the region. It continually draw large number of crowds since it started in 1989. Hagisan ng Suman Festival Suman is the ritual gift of Hagisan wherein the natives have the opportunity to share their prosperity. As soon as the image of San Isidro passes by, the Bagakai must be emptied of its colorful array of abundance, which aside from Suman, including banana, mango, buko, pineapple, and other local farm produce. In most houses, Suman and other farm produce are no longer tied in Bagakai. They simply throw them with passion and great enthusiasm from their deck, balconies, or windows the multitude of peasant and workers. The sun means throwing or sharing away. Taichinoy Festival. As part of the Chinese New Year, Tayaba City celebrates this festival as the city's way of building a national relationship to Chinese society. Aligned with this were some Chinese activities being adopted by Tayabenses and contests like Chinese Garter Contest, Kiamoy Eating Contest, Chapstikan ng Pansit Habhab, Binibining Tai Chinoy, and a lot more. The highlight of the event was the dragon and the Chinese presentation in Parque Rizal and the Pagdalaw ng Leon at Nandragon at Tayabas Poblacion wherein all people undeniably enjoyed, especially the children. The four-day celebration embodying numerous events greatly gave bunch of fun to all Tayabenses and guests, ultimately learning awareness of the Chinese culture and tradition and endless merriment were being brought out of by the municipality. Ay di ni sa tayabas, yan ang saya, parin na!